What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? This week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 163, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to begin get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom. Before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week and last week for me because I wasn't here. Chachi, what'd you achieve? Are you on a toy? Ooh, you got a toy. What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, an Assassin's Creed blade. Oh, no. It's plastic. Don't worry. Oh, okay. okay. It does That's hurt when it, shoots, when it shoots out at you accidentally and you're not ready. Don't start your uh, life of crime, Chachi. No. Um, I hung up my, uh, my my Zelda sword and shield. Nice. Uh, it looks pretty sweet on the wall, so, you know, that that's a thing. Um, I downloaded, I'm halfway through uh, The Legend of Mystical Ninja um, for Super Nintendo on the uh, Wii U Virtual Console. Um, that's about it. I didn't really play much this week. Riz? Well, I- I'm going to make this quick because, Bobby, you've been hinting so much. Yeah, I have. Uh, but I've just been playing the used uh, Mario Maker and um, Metal Gear Solid, and I just downloaded Metal Gear Online, which just came out today. So after the show, I will probably be doing both of those things, wishing I can do both of those things at the same time. All right. Bobby? Sorg, what'd you do? What'd you accomplish? I played a lot of games on my phone because I don't need an Xbox no more. Uh, no, no, it was some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I, again, still going through with some Infinity Blade 2. Um, I was playing some of that Asphalt 8 that I used to play when we were testing out the, the Twitch on iPhone stuff. It, dude, it's beautiful. It's amazing looking on this thing. Uh, I, I loaded a bunch of classic games on here. Like I forgot all the games I've downloaded over the years, and I just went back since I have so much freaking room on this thing. Um, and I found myself playing Sunday night a lot of Final Fight. Like I got like halfway through the game because there's unlimited yeah. continues in the app, so that's really handy. I just didn't have enough time. Uh, and even played a little bit of Mega Man Two on here, trying to see if it was worthwhile with the touch controls. Uh, so, uh, lined up that I want to jump into that I never did before for whatever reason, Dead Rising on, on mobile. Ooh. I'm kind of curious to see. I I don't remember it being very good when I tried it. I think it's one of those things I I, I snagged when it was on sale or something or free and I didn't have room on my phone and never went back to it. Um, also dropped down on here, uh, some GTA three, uh, Tomb Raider, the original, uh, Mm. it's not, not a lot of fun on touch controls. I can tell you that. Uh, so uh, yeah, just kind of having fun with that kind of stuff, and returned a little bit to Mortal Kombat X on here as well. Tomb Raider, stop! What? <laughs> Tomb Raider, stop! Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Go was amazing. I recommend. It's one of the better five bucks you're going to spend on the App Store. Mm-hmm. All right, so Bobby. Bobby. In the two weeks that I wasn't here, I found a Nintendo store in in, in Greensburg, which is a local place. Um, it was it's called Warp Zone. Um, really nice guys run it. Uh, I think it's husband and wife that actually run it. The two nice guys were in there when I was there. Um, I picked up Simon's Quest for ten bucks. Castlevania Two Simon's Quest. Uh, I picked up Casino Kid, which I still haven't gotten to work yet, but I have to clean it a little better. Um, that was like two ninety nine, so the prices are really good. Uh, and I got an old school Nintendo controller as well. Um, but I played those over the weekend. Bobby, what did you beat? I beat a game. I don't care. What did you beat? I beat a game. I don't care I mean, what you're gonna say. I don't care if what you're gonna say is if it's not oh, a game. I've been playing a lot of Destiny lately too. Did but you I beat, beat Destiny. I, I did not beat Destiny. No. Did you beat I, a game? Far Cry Four. All right, Bobby. Yeah. Hey, hey, that came I, out. I, I, that I, came I, out in about game. a year. Yeah. Yay, yeah, Bobby. It was this year, so good, good, good on me. Good job, Bobby. All right, Chuck, you want to send us around the net? No. Why? Because I want to know when you started Far Cry 4. I started Far Cry 4 a while ago. Like when? It's like when I got it, like two, when? Well, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. 
tweet. It's now time for forgiveness. It's my favorite tweet. Hey. Three dollars. It's from around the internet. No, 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 no. Uh, first part. up, uh, a big deal for me, because I, I don't care what you personally think about him, but uh, I enjoy him. Uh, Edward Snowden joined Twitter mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and has been randomly asked. He actually answers tweets, and someone asked him, uh, uh, the exact tweet was, stop boring me with these surveillance tweets. Who's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> um, <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> to, which he, Snowden. <laughs> to which he responded, missing no. Which, ah. you know, it, uh, it, it, yeah, so it fits. Um, next up, uh, a guy programmed and YouTubed the playing of a video game in which he proposed to his uh, then girlfriend with. Um, so you can check that out. It's entertaining. Uh, it's not a bad video game, considering that the guy's not really a programmer. So, so, so. Uh, it's really cool. If you go into the article attached to this, like it actually talks about, like I did this level and it has this music because of this, and like this is like a representation of our date here and and, and that trip we took here and everything. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of fun cool. if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, got it. Uh, got it from Sorg. Uh, so, yeah, cool. Thanks, Sword. And last but not least, ADHD announces Mortal Kombat Humilitality. It's just great. <laughs> um, it's entertaining as hell. Um, essentially, what happens is the uh, winning opponent or the winning player is able to go through the loser's phone uh, and do pretty much whatever they want with it. So, uh, check it out. It's. Uh, what, Molina and Sub-Zero? Mm-hmm. Um, and it gets kind of freaky with uh, Scorpion there for a minute. So uh, <laughs> go over and check it out. It is worth the watch. It's funny Hashtag well. get over here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, go over and check it out. And that is all I have for you this week on Video Game Day from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Back to you, Bobby. All right, now some t- it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Uh, Valve's push to bring PC gaming to the living room is getting a little help from retail stores. GameStop, EB, and Game UK will serve as an exclusive non-digital retailers for the company's Steam machines, uh, Steam controllers, and Steam Link streaming device. Valve announced, or they, they announced that this week. Uh, some stores in the U.S. and U.K. will feature Steam sections that will feature consoles, controllers, Steam cards, and more. Uh, Steam's hardware is expected to launch officially on November 10th. Uh, Steam machines uh, from hardware manufacturers like Alienware, Asus, uh, Falcon Northwest, and others have been priced at around uh, starting at $449, and uh, Valve Steam Controller and Steam Link are priced at $49.99, respectively. All right. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Is this good for, for? Is this a good partnership for Steam, or do you think uh, they should be selling online or so? You know, look how look how well they did with the Ouya. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it, here here's my my thing. Like the the biggest thing is is getting these in front of people, right? How did Nintendo do well? Because there was in every Sears there was a unit there with that you could sit and play Nintendo. You know what I mean? Like that they're going to mm-hmm. have it in store, have demo units and say, hey, it's this. Like it's not this existential concept that, you know, when, when you know, the Ooyah, like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, go to the Kickstarter. You know, if you get it, you got it, you know, but that's not yeah. a mass appeal. Um, and I think I think that's going to be the case for a lot of people being educated. Plus, it lends towards the idea that, you know, hey, they're already selling cards and digital goods anyways at GameStop, and it mm-hmm. maybe helps with that conversion a little bit. Hey, I, PC gaming being represented in a brick and mortar. That's I, cool. I think another thing, um, I think this is going to help sell to more casual gamers, like families and stuff like that, because a, a family's not going to go out of their way if they don't know about Steam, like Steam machines or anything like that. They're not going to go to a website to order one or whatever. They're going to they're going to walk into a GameStop looking for a game for their kid or whatever, and they're going to say, "What's that? Oh, look at that! It's a new console. You want that instead of the the, the console? You know? I don't know. No, no. I just think I just think they're gonna it's it's gonna it's gonna hit a wider audience, right? Than it right. would have. 
the way that I see it, and this is probably just going to be me, um, <clears throat> they could do the same thing. They could they could have the same amount of effect on the casual gamer. Just like uh, if I don't know if you guys noticed if you guys saw the uh, video of uh, what was it? no man no man's or no man's sky. Uh, they they promoted their their game, which hasn't even been had a release date yet, on the Colbert show on on Colbert's late show. That and by the way, great. It, it looks great, and 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 to the common eye, that's an amazing freaking game. And they they now have people who don't normally buy video games wanting to buy that video game because mm-hmm. it looks that good. Now, I can, I can see Steam. I can see uh, Gabe. I, I don't actually don't see Gabe going on any talk shows and promote promote it. But I do see a lot of promotion coming their way if they if they want to, and that's going to get more eyes on them than I think people at EB Games or GameStop. You, you know what would might actually do. sell a Steam machine? Half Life Three. <laughs> Bobby, that would, that would go a long way in helping them. Bobby, let it go. Okay. Let, let it, it go. go. <laughs> let it go. We did not time that too. That was very yeah, perfect yeah. improv for you guys. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. any 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 Steam game with the number three in the title would help this sell. Yeah, yes. that's true. Portal three. <laughs> Portal or three, left three dead, left for dead three, no left three dead. Five night, three nights at Freddy's three, uh, three the game, threes, yeah, <laughs> threes three. All right, oh. can can we move on now? Yeah. All right, Ubisoft Montreal's next Far Cry game was announced today, Far Cry Primal, uh, which is set in the Stone Age. Uh, yes. We'll put you in the land before time. No, no. not the movie starring cartoon dinosaurs. Uh, but back in – it's back <laughs> right before, this, right after the Ice Age. Okay. First time you're hearing this today? This is the first time I'm hearing this. Go uh, on. The, game's, the game's trailer, which features woolly mammoths, saber-toothed saber tooth tigers, and prehistoric people, uh, uh, shows how lush and beautiful the game is actually going to be. Uh, the game features a new character uh, called Takar. And may feature a saber-toothed tiger companion, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. It was in the art books. Um, set in the, uh, in the year 10,000 BC, the game is also all, it is all about hunting, gathering, and protecting your tribe. Will you rise above extinction? Yes. Tune in to find out. So, I, I, will, I will buy that game, by the way. It looks good. I mean, it looks like, really cool. You're, you're, you're telling me that I can ride a saber-toothed tiger? Possibly. We'll because that <laughs> in the last Far Cry, you're you're allowed to, I believe, ride a giant elephant. Mm-hmm. So, Sometimes. yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Microsoft showed off some more of their new toy Hololens today. For more of that, we go to our senior tech correspondent, Michael Sorg. Michael. Uh, yes, Bobby, I'm right here uh, in the studio because where the hell else would I be and not wherever they held this conference today because I completely forgot it was happening and I was on a call. But what I did find was a tremendous video on Facebook that I feel gave me pretty much the gist of what happened. And let me share that with you now. As you can see, this man has a a robot Mega Man arm on his hand and he's wearing goofy eyewear. That would be the HoloLens. Uh, he, uh, he, of course, we're seeing this do the special cameras, which they're showing with this guy with the steady cam that I swear I want to make Chachi uh, wear at an IWC event at Ringside in the near future. But anyways, I digress. Uh, but he's able to be in the game and uh, and actually react to objects, and uh, you're seeing he's shooting uh, fake holes in the wall on the set. Uh, so uh, that it's a really cool kind of interactive uh, idea. Now I think. 
you have to kind of take this with a grain of salt. They have a camera that's showing what he's seeing basically in three dimensional space, yeah, right? Kind of like what they did with uh, E3 and the Minecraft. Yeah, thing. exactly. And also remember, like at least the last iteration that we know people have had hands on as. And once again, as people were looking goofy with the VR headset earlier on the Awesome Cast, if you tuned in for that, he looks pretty goofy when we go back to the non <laughs> 3D <laughs> version of this. Be a way that you're not gonna look goofy playing <laughs> no, a no. virtual reality game for a while. If you so, want. Look not cool, but have a great experience. We have the tool for you. So look at the cover of Time Magazine. Exactly. Uh, I, I think I, I, you know, so so, and, and the announcement is going to be these dev kits for this are going to be available in 2016 for about three thousand dollars. This is not like, and even the thing that we're showing off. Uh, so on Awesome Cast, we we had actually a gear. Uh, VR based on the Oculus technology, uh, and it was a $200 uh, dev kit, which we're pretty sure it's going to be about $100 for you to pick up. Again, you have to have a Samsung phone and a particular model of the Samsung phone, or at least like a couple of the models, right? Uh, you know, mm -hmm. much like Riz, you're familiar with this with that uh, the watch you got. Uh, you know, yes. was only compatible with certain things. So, but so but still, uh, you know, this. I don't, it's not going to be $3,000 when it comes out, guys. It's going to be much, much... I think it's going to be $500. It's going to be two years before you guys see us on the consumer sh shelf. Uh, I think the the demos are impressive if they hold up, if the experience feels like that's what you're going to get. Hell, I want to be Mega Man. <laughs> Or this guy here. Um, also very interesting. They, 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 he's got a kind of a hand thing going on. So that's how we know where his hand cannon is. Is that thing. Because we were, again, we were, we were doing the VR thing earlier. And you can search, look around and everything. But there's no controller. You, you look down when you're Iron Man at your hands. And they're, they're not where your hands are. Because... It, it doesn't know. It has no way of knowing. There's nothing on your hands. There's nothing tracking your hands versus we've looked at other ones that have like uh, stands that will like kind of see your body positioning uh, that you have to set up while you're playing them. Um, I forget if that was Oculus or the uh, HTC Steam variety of it, but uh, or Valve, I guess. Uh, but no, it was really, really good, really impressive. Um, you know, it, we're going to keep seeing demos like this until we finally see a consumer model. Just like, hey guys, remember we're still here. Yeah, Bobby. Did the guy have to go pew 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 when he fired lasers? Uh, you know, I would, <laughs> I would. So I'm, I'm sure, and I'm sure for the first like, uh, uh, for the tech session of these demos, I'm sure they were like, no, don't do the pew pew. It doesn't look good on stage. <laughs> So, but I think it's cool. You guys, you guys saw a bit of the demo there. Um, what did you guys think of, uh, you know, what do you guys think of like the HoloLens in general and kind of how it's kind of coming along? We live in scary times. Okay. Robot spiders are coming through walls at us. <laughs> I'm scared. But you get to be I'm Mega Man. While, you get to be Mega Man scared. while they get, while that happens, Bobby. I'm scared for our children that don't exist yet, Sork. <laughs> but you're Mega Man, Bobby. Yeah, I know. I know. That's true. You're Mega Man. Mega Man. Uh, but no, the, the the promotion is amazing. All all this left is seeing if you actually get to do the things that you're actually seeing through the very special lens that that Microsoft has to show you these things. Mm -hmm. Or else, or if they're not, if they're just cool CGI props. Um, it, it, I, I want, I want it, and then, like you said, it's probably going to be down a little bit when it comes out. Uh, but I want to play with it. I want to, I want to spend my time with, 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 uh, with the hand cannons. Or that's what she said. For both those statements. Yes. <laughs> All right. By the way, I just I just wanted to say hand cannon because Sorg said it. Yep. Hand it cannon. That's what it is. Chachi, you have anything to us? Uh, any thoughts on the HoloLens? Okay. Cool. Moving on. Guys, microtransactions are all the rage these days. We'll get more on that later. <laughs> um, but would you like to purchase your next DLC, uh, DLC yeah. content? DLC. Got a bit of a lift today. Uh, through Jake from wait, okay, let me start that sentence over again. But That's okay. We'll fix it in post. Next DLC through Jake from State Farm. What? Yes. No. Yes, I would. All right. Uh, Metal Gear Online, uh, yes. the online oh, component okay. that was added to Metal Gear today worldwide. 
uh-huh. offers just that insurance for your FOB or forward operating base, which uh-huh. you purchase with real cash. Uh, oh. this, is, this is what you'll get with the insurance. Uh, staff slash materials stolen by the rival will in fact remain on your base, and an identical amount of staff slash materials will be handed over to the rival instead, uh, according to the official description of the insurance. It will not, however, cover staff slash items that are not fully your property, such as abduct- uh, abducted staff being held in your brig. Okay. Uh, it will not. It will also not cover wounded staff. Uh, this, that staff lost due to death or extraction will be compensated. Uh, staff. What the hell? Staff used by you to deploy in defense of the FOB. Uh-huh. And nuclear weapons. Yep. <laughs> um, I don't have any other, of those yet. In other Metal Gear news, uh, someone is remaking the original NES version of Metal Gear from 1987 on Unreal Engine. Uh, maybe they could actually get Hideo Kojima to actually help them remake the game. My phone's going off. Or how about Jake from State Farm? All right. Uh, my question is, do you think insurance is a good add-on for games? And does it make sense? Or is you, do you guys think it's just a money grab? It, it does, it, the, whole point, the whole point of Metal Gear Online is to do the things that you just said were going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, you're supposed to steal shit. Yeah. You're supposed to do things like that. Why take that out of the game by ma- by making you pay for it? Yeah, but and, you're not going to you know get your what? stuff stolen if you pay for it. And you know what? It's not going to Hideo Kojima either. It's mm-hmm. going to Konami. Yep. It's it, not going to the guy who made the game. So, no, it stinks. <sighs> This goes back to the whole argument that we had months ago about whether or not it's right to sell everything that, that would normally be an unlock. Mm-hmm. Um, just because you're too lazy to play the game as it's meant yeah. to be played. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't want to put the time in the video game and, and build up your defenses, then you know what? Because maybe you shouldn't play the game. I know somebody who... Or... Yeah. Oops, go ahead. If you if you really want to dish out the money for it, then fine. You deserve to to pay more than everyone else. Yeah, and I, and I was gonna say I knew I know somebody who has been who had let's see a few couple of her uh, boxes taken away from her. Her staff has been abducted, and. Uh, I forget, uh, and she went. She didn't say, "Oh, I'm gonna just buy this. I'm just gonna buy insurance just for, for the heck of it." No, it, 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 it. She went back and she did something about it. She just said, "Hey," I'm gonna, and she got more of her. She got all of her stuff back, and the other guy's stuff, and their crew. So, she actually played the game correctly. As you should, and if you if you don't, then you stink, and you shouldn't be playing the game. Right. Bobby or uh, Riz, sometimes life just hits you with a left turn, and sometimes you just don't want to deal with that and let Jake from State Farm handle it. Sometimes you get stomped on by sword. a Metal Gear. It's, it's the not, same. It's not the same, it's if, the same. You're, if you're going to play a game, and then you can't get your stuff back. So you have to pay to get your stuff back from Konami so you can have your stuff. Not their stuff, your stuff. It's like if you if you and it's not even your stuff. It's like it's like the whole goldfish thing. Like your your goldfish, you know, goes away mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden your parents bring you a new one without you knowing that goldfish has died. And yeah, it, we, and it's, we, oh, you know, it's not your fish, but you don't care. But you should. We have, we have a correction. We have a correction in the chat. Uh, yeah. It's not the NES version of Metal Gear. It's the sure. original Metal Gear. Um, Konami had nothing to do with the NES version, so don't count that as one. Says mm-hmm. Brother Sork. It's the MSX so, version. He's saying. Yeah, the mm-hmm. MSX version. So, I stand corrected. Anyways. 
Um, how was you gonna spin this? Sorg. How was you gonna spin this one? You know, you can also get in a box, like that was stolen from from Riz's friend. Pizza. You know what Tell you don't need. Pizza. You don't know what what you don't need. You don't need pizza insurance because it's going to yes. get destroyed like a hurricane every time it comes in that box and gets in front of your face. Because Slice on Broadway is amazing. It's sliceonbroadway.com, dot com and, uh, and 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 you can check it out here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh uh, along the tracks here in Beachview as well as down in Carnegie, PA, down on Main Street. It's uh, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, Chachi, you're raising your hand. Uh, you I have something have to question. say for the class. You have a question yes is there a such thing as pizza insurance um oh i got an answer for that that is something that i would pay for okay okay kids back in the 80s (laughs) there was this creature called the the noid (laughs) you would steal pizza the only way to stop the noid was to get pizza insurance now with slice on broadway you don't need pizza insurance but I want pizza insurance. Well, you can get pizza insurance. I'm no. sure they, they may offer it. Hear me out. Hear me out. Because I want them to bring me new pizza when I eat old pizza. Oh. Ooh. That's called a pizza racket. I, I, I actually <laughs> like that idea. <laughs> it'd be it'd be a shame if something happened to your pizza. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, but no, check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, and ask them if they have pizza insurance at pgh underscore slice on the Twitters, or look up Slice on Broadway on the Facebook or the Instagrams. Let's find out what happened last week and this week and last week. In Circuitron Media, we'll be right back. Are you familiar with Craigslist? I did know an individual by the name of Craig List, but uh, he did. It's an online classifieds. You know the classifieds from the newspaper? Oh, I sleep on the newspapers all the time. I know just what you're talking about. Is, uh, hey guys, happy International Podcast Day. Five. High five for International who, Podcast Day. Sprained wrist. Who, who, who made it International Podcast Day? Because yesterday was International Coffee Day. Don't and it was like International me. Something Else <laughs> Consumable Day, I thought, too. Yeah, didn't Justin Kanaki list a bunch of days and he left out Podcasting Day, right? Have you force touched your keyboard? Yes. Force touching the keyboard <laughs> is the greatest. The reason you touch your keyboard when you're in a text input field. Ta da, you have a mouse. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I had the running joke forever. I mean, when I managed Sterling James Keenan as a heel uh, against Claudio Castagnoli a couple times. And one time we did the, uh, the Rick Rude Warrior finish in WrestleMania 5. Uh, you know, if Corey Graves ever needs help beating Cesaro, he knows where to call. Bobby is missing! If you have any information, please contact Captain Planet. Someone wanted Street Fighter 4 to include Floyd Money Mayweather and Ronda Rousey. I, I mean, it looks like a, a Street Fighter version of both characters. And I would play as Ronda Rousey all day. Mm-hmm. Let's say you have a friend who is tired and he's burnt out on wrestling, but he doesn't want to give it up. He doesn't want to stop watching wrestling. He wants to get back in. He wants something to hook him, to grab him by the throat like things used to. He's an old man who just wants to love wrestling again. How would you make that old man love wrestling again? <laughs> Sorg, you are crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you did that last week. <laughs> what did he do, Chuck? Oh, man, a whole bunch of stuff that you can check out at SorgatronMedia.com. All right. So Destiny News came Transitions. <laughs> and you just killed it, Bobby. Best transi- transition ever. All right, so Destiny News came forth this week. Uh, Let's get started talking about all of it. Why? First bit of news, the title character of the Taken King is actually a transgender character. Cool. Oryx started out as a female during the ritual that bestowed upon her godlike powers, and then she transitioned during the ceremony into a male and became Oryx the Taken King. Um, This isn't actually mentioned in the game. It's kind of like hidden in the... the, uh, underlying text of the game it's mentioned in the text outside of the main game uh in the book the books of sorrow which can be read on the destiny app or on bungie's website when you find something in the game uh that correlates to that i thought that was kind of a cool thing i never got i never got why they allow why they have those little things in the game nobody reads them it's it's like it's like skyrim's books 
No, nobody reads them. <laughs> like so Skyrim, think, Skyrim no, no, no. has, they read, they wrote so much text for Skyrim's books, and everybody just keep keeps the books and tosses them away. Bobby, Bobby or Chachi, <laughs> Bobby or Chachi, have you guys read a single line from from one of those little nuggets of information they give you? Have you gone online? Uh, and uh, search? No. Yes, the Destiny. No. Thing. No. I usually skip Why that. Why are we stuff? having this conversation? I, I thought it was a neat thing that they. No, they it's not make, a neat like, thing. I mean, it's essentially saying that she can only have these powers if she's a man. Yep. Well, she made a she made a deal with the uh, Destiny Devil. So that's a that's a horrible that's a horrible thing to point out that you can only have these powers if you're a man. Well, there was tr- three sisters, and there was there was a whole thing about it. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool. Have you read the whole thing, Chuck? Have you read no. the whole thing, Bobby? No, I didn't. See, you can't even finish the, the paragraph. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Come on. I just saw the news story and thought it was kind of cool. But anyways, in other Destiny news, they announced that microtransactions will become a part of the game. But, now, for, um, um, but only for emotes. This is the stuff I was getting to earlier when we were talking about microtransactions. You can purchase new currency called silver, uh, which you purchase with real world money, uh, to use on dances and gestures. Uh, in other words, it's mostly cosmetic purchases, and they won't affect the game. Like That's if like you like awesome. if you want to, yeah, it may possibly you may be you may be able to. Can I do the robot as one of those robots? Probably, probably yes. Um, but uh, the game. Uh, this was also paired with the news that uh, announcement that the DLC content will become free drops that will occur every so often instead of like uh, you know they have the Taken King which was forty dollars and the the um, the other ones that came out the Wolf mm-hmm. something um, th- those were like twenty bucks each. Well, they they are announcing that every every like. Every two months or so, they're going to release these free story DLCs and whatnot um, for free. So that's a good thing. Uh, but the next big DLC pack, which I'm putting in quotations here, uh, will be Destiny 2, which will probably hit fall of 2016. Electric Boogaloo? Yes. yes. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. All right. And finally, our final Destiny, Destiny story. Uh PS4 owners woke up to find <laughs> Destiny the Taken King pretty much preloaded and ready to play on their systems, even though they don't own the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, the u 2 of the game comes mm-hmm. from a new feature on the PS4. Uh, the, the promotion is part of PS4's personalized, curated content, as described on PlayStation's official website. Uh, it says the PS4 system has the ability to learn about your preferences. It will learn your likes and dislikes, allowing you to discover t- content preloaded and ready to go on your console in your favorite game genres, or mm. your favorite cre- or by your favorite creators. Guys, guys, yeah, guys! Awesome. Why does um, my PS4 keep downloading Barbie Horse Adventure? What is happening? <laughs> please, please okay, so what that. you're telling it's, me? It's staring at me right now. What guys. you're telling me is that. PS4 has turned into TiVo, yeah. which means at some point you're going to watch Super Redneck Trucker. And it's yes. going to be like, oh, we downloaded every episode of Queer as Folk for you. <laughs> you like Super wow. Trucker. Anyways, the final round question. <laughs> Are you cool with a console pre-downloading, pre-downloading a game for you even though you didn't purchase it? Or is it just another U2 album that nobody will play? Uh, well, well, it, well, it depends. Now, are, are now, they going to charge you? Are yeah, we you two no, fans in this they're, scenario? They're, they're not going to charge you, but the no. game will be preloaded on your system and take up the space. Oh, then that's perfectly fine. They're not going to charge you for it, though. I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. Like, if if you're telling me I can get games on here, I can get my downloads on here, free purchase, and play it right right after I purchase it. I'm, that's perfect. I'm fine yeah, with that. But what if you don't want it though? Then you remove then it. Delete it. Yeah. They, they, they said there is. A, they no said there is a way you can stop the system from doing this. There, there is no money transaction going through. So I'm just gonna say, hey, get out of my thing. Go, go somewhere else. Yeah, you, I, I mean, get out of my thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. 
you're 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 safe, PlayStation Four. I wasn't angry when they automatically loaded you two on my iPhone. I just, <laughs> I, I removed you, it. You know, you know, um, you know what I'm angry about, it. Chachi, is every time that old uh, iPhone 3G that we just used for the radio in the kitchen, it's the only thing on the phone. So every time you attach it without doing anything, it just plays the U2 album. <laughs> hey, I don't mind U2. It's not a knock on U2. I don't mind U2. Uh, it just sounds like generic pop music, whatever. Yeah. So Wait, I move why? on. The old 3G got the U2 album? Yes, the old yep. 3GS <laughs> iPhone got wow. the U2 album. And that I'm is... sure, actually, you know, I think my iPad 1's got it as well. And they're still running amazing. iOS 5. <laughs> well, actually, I guess that means it's a beautiful day. That's Takes amazing. off sunglasses. <laughs> Bob. Bobby, wrap it up. Bobby, just wrap right. it up. You, you, no, <laughs> Bobby. That is all the time we have this week. That's going to do it for us. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinTV.com. New articles going up daily. And you can visit us live each and every Tuesday night on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Live it live! Wicked live! Sorg, any Yeah! Plugs? Plug all the things. Hey, actually, really, it's going to be on InsertCoinTV.com this Thursday. Uh, but keep an eye out for it. Subscribe to the awesome chat at awesomecast.net. I'm sorry. I think we have the dot .com too. Uh, but we talked with a local here in Pittsburgh looking for group uh, Pittsburgh. I'll talk about it at LG lfgpgh.com and find out all the information if you're here they're in the South Hills it's a video game playing place land party place they have everything in there you can bring games to them play on their equipment or a co-working space probably the coolest co-working space you'll ever end up in uh, that's not Google uh, go, go check that out are what's we, that? Are we taking a road trip? a road trip to Brookline? Okay. Yes. No, actually, it, it, we, we we need to have a discussion after the show, but, but or not not after the show, but very soon, guys, about some stuff, uh, and that especially includes you, Riz. What? Yep. Oh. You you have I think no idea what you're talking about. I, I, I get what you're putting down, sir. Whatever, Great Bobby. Time. All right, uh, Chachi. Any plugs? Follow me on. Nope. At Chauncey says on the Twitter and help me on my journey to get the perfect clout score of 100 within the next year. <laughs> yes. Are you, are you still want to get follows on Plurk too? Is that the thing? No, uh, Plurk. I don't care about Plurk. Plurk doesn't. Uh, Plurk doesn't interact with clout, so I don't care. Um, but follow me on all of the things. Clout. Yeah, follow me on all of the things. Uh, I, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. At Chauncey says. Follow me on all of the things that help me reach the perfect clout score. Cool. All right, Riz, plugs. Are you, are you also on YouTube, Chachi? I am on the YouTubes. Thank Chachi. YouTube. Chachi is also a free YouTube download. <laughs> I am a free YouTube download. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Uh, Chachi's and, and on. Then, while you're on YouTube. I'm, gonna, I'm going to put myself on your iPhone. Chachi, while, while you're Chachi. on the YouTube. Follow me at Riz Plays Games. No. Oh. You follow me and help me get the perfect club score. I already follow you on Bobby everything. Jason. You can follow me at Bobby F. J. Town, and we're going to be putting up. I'm going to be putting up this week uh, a link to our Extra Life page, uh, so you can donate to our 24 uh, hour gameathon. We don't okay. know when we're going to do it yet, but it's going to be fun, and Chucky. we're going to raise money for charity. Chachi, did you post the, uh, the the links to, I mean, not the links, the uh, our codes? No, not yet. Well, look on uh, insertcointobegin.com. Oh, yeah, We're going to yeah. post our codes. Yeah, on the Mario Maker, Maker levels. Yeah. And you can get at just as angry as we get. <laughs> yes. Don't make them kill Yoshi. No, All we, right. That's, that's going to do it for us, everybody. Game over. Download me. Game over, yeah. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.